organizers strong. there have just issued a statement saying that they are maintaining distance. However, when it comes to the comments that have been made by the Israeli filmmaker who was also the jury head at uh, the IFI, uh, the film festival that was being celebrated and marked in Goa, let's first listen into the controversial comments that came in by the Israeli filmmaker during the closing ceremony. All of us uh, disturbed and shocked by the 15th film, by the movie Kashmir Files, that felt to us like a propaganda vulgar movie inappropriate for an artistic competitive section of such a prestigious film festival. I feel totally comfortable to share uh, openly these feelings here with you on stage, since uh, the spirit that we felt in the festival can surely accept also a critical discussion, which is essential for art and for life. And not just that, when it comes to the comments that came in from those people who have been a part of the movie and Kashmiri pundits who have been quite vocal on the issue as well as far as the movie Kashmir Files is concerned, it was one of the top crossing films in the year 2022. Anupam Kher also tweeted on the same, uh, in fact he has highlighted a picture of him when he starred in the movie Kashmir Files. Listen in. We'll, we'll give the proper uh, reply to it. If the Holocaust is right, तो कश्मीरी पंडितों का एक्सोडस भी सही है ये एक प्री प्लान मुझे लगता है मैं जितना ज़्यादा जानता नहीं ऐसा प्री प्लान लगता है कि प्लानिंग किया गया है बिकॉज़ उसके बाद इमीडिएटली टूल किट गैंग जो है वो सक्रिय हो गया इट्स इट्स शेमफुल फॉर हिम टू मेक ए स्टेटमेंट लाइक दिस Mr. Arasan Singh is also with us here on the broadcast, sir. You must have heard the comments that have been made by the Israeli filmmaker, sir. And this is coming on the account of a government program that was being done in Goa. Now, such kind of comments on Kashmir Files movie being singled out, sir. What's your take? See, uh, by virtue of uh, being in the Indian Army, I spent a lot many years in Kashmir. And I know Kashmir inside out. And I can only tell you that what has been shown in Kashmir files is just 20% of the actual truth. The actual truth is even more ghastly. If that was portrayed to the general people of India, they would not have been able to stomach it. You, you saw jihad in its worst form. Every kind of jihad, jihad sponsored from within the country, jihad sponsored from outside the country. We saw political jihad in form of Abdullahs and Muftis. And the enormity of the situation can be gauged by the fact to bring in global jihad, a home minister of this country, he got his own daughter kidnapped. He got his own daughter kidnapped. Does this fellow know about this? This is really fellow? Don't, don't, don't put salt on the wounds of the Kashmiri Hindus. You think anybody leaves his heart and home for pleasure? Who is answerable to this? And you don't count it among the, uh, uh, among the genocides that have taken place all over the world? Does he know the history of Kashmir? There have been eight exoduses, eight exoduses, ma'am. And all attributed, all attributed jihad, Islamic jihad. In 1400 years, nothing has changed. Islam was a curse that befall, that has befallen on this, this sacred land of ours. A movie has been made. We know how, how close it is to the truth. And yet I dare say that 80% of it has not been shown. Because I again say that people would not have been able to stomach it. And let me also tell you, having served in that area at the height of terrorism, the people there are, they have turned into animals. Jihadis are not human beings. They are animals. It is, it is a jihad is a concept which has originated from the beastly mindset 
of the progenitors of Islam. And it is affecting not only in Kashmir, all over the world. Today you have Zakir Naik being hosted as a poster boy of jihad in Qatar. And you teach us, you teach us that what is freedom of expression and what is freedom of, of you know, artistic, artistic expression. It was not, it is what, what has been shown in, in, in that movie, Kashmir Files, is not, is not an artistic expression. It's not a fiction movie, it sir. Is outlet. It, is, it, is an, it, it is an outlet of the truth. And you can't suppress truth. Ma'am, ma'am, madhabe paita hoti hai, jo chis paita hoti hai, wo marti bhi hai. Lekin sachai nahi marti hai. Phir se aadmi koi madhab khada ho sakta hai. We have seen mothers being born every day in this country. They are born and they die. But the truth is, the truth never dies. You can't conceal the truth. Absolutely, sir. And it is more of the acknowledgement of the truth rather than completely denying it. It is not an artistic film. It is a film that is based on a true story, based on video interviews of the first generation of the victims of the Kashmir genocide, the Kashmir Pandit community. Thank you very much, Mr. Arasan Singh, sir, for joining us here on the broadcast. Shivani, this is a heart-wrenching narrative of the pain and the suffering and the struggle of the Kashmiri Pandits and the trauma that they still feel till this day. Why isn't we even recognized or even acknowledged by the jury head, the Israeli filmmaker, before he made those comments, Shivani? Uh, well, interestingly, we are given the fact uh, that there are mixed opinions. Those are coming in. In fact, everyone is criticizing the vulgar term that has now been associated with the film Kashmir File, which already received a mega welcome. Uh, by the audiences, in fact, uh, not the first week, but the second and the third week of the particular film was a super a mega hit. In fact, the video of this particular uh, statement by the uh, filmmaker, the IFA jury member, is also going viral where people are criticizing him. In fact, Akash, in the, the main lead, Anupam Kher has also come ahead and commented that this is a film which has shown the world, in fact, the reality that what has happened exactly in the 1990s with Kashmiri Pandits. And that is why the people have loved the film. Uh, there have been earlier also mixed uh, uh, criticism, mixed opinions with regards to this film. But now the way a vulgar term has been associated and also uh, the, uh, the jury member goes on to say that uh, he was shocked and surprised to see that the Kashmir uh, files was in the competition uh, with regards to this particular film festival, which has clearly harmed the audiences which had loved the film and which had supported the film. In fact, we also saw that after the huge success of this particular film, Vivek Agnihotri, who has made the film, also went on saying that he will be making more files to, uh, you know, make people aware, make the world aware that what exactly has transpired with the uh, uh, with the people, with the citizens of India, especially the Hindus, and that's why now calling it a world which has shown the reality of Kashmir files, uh, which has shown the reality of Kashmiri pundits over there in the film particularly. Uh, this particular statement has been widely criticized. Now the Bollywood fraternity has also come ahead and said that uh, uh, such film festivals are some uh, place where uh, uh, films are about to get appreciated. If they are in the competition, if there is a mention of a particular film, mm -hmm. it means that the film has a value and that is why it's getting added up. It also becomes of a course, viewer's Shivani, choice. It is the International uh, Film Festival that we are talking about and the Kashmir Files was one of the top grossing films of Bollywood this year that has seen 2022. It was the Kashmir Files. Well, yes, in fact, we are already seeing that how there are several Bollywood films, those are not doing good business with regards to uh, any big uh, actor or actresses, but it was Kashmir file which ran over across the hearts of people about only the story that was written in. And in fact, it was called as a masterpiece. We are uh, given to understand the reviews of the film were very good. The acting were appreciated. In fact, all the actors have come ahead and they said that they have not worked in this particular film about uh, the money, but rather the content that was shown in because it was showing the brutal reality of what exactly transpired in Kashmir and how the Kashmir is the integral part of India. And that is why a film has been made. In fact, uh, Anupam Kher's character was highly appreciated. In fact, all of those characters uh, were shown in a series of ways that people, in fact, got the right glimpse that 
what happened then and what was the situation there and how the people uh, in india uh, across the country were supporting kashmiri pandits but uh, yes of course the uh, film had uh, achieved several uh, uh, titles also but now uh, getting a title as a vulgar from that to uh, israeli uh, maker and of your jury of this particular international but film Shivani, festival i mean this is the international film festival that we are talking about but hasn't the film being also in a way singled out when it comes to uh, bollywood and our own uh, award system as well because we are still not looking the kind of recognition uh, that the movie deserves that has been getting from our indian filmmakers too